So starting the test drive in this GV80, very impressive pickup for an inline four cylinder. And even though it's turbocharged, it's still, again, an impressive feat for this big of a vehicle, just how the acceleration is. So here in comfort mode, pretty impressed by just the pull in general, but having the sport mode too, we'll test that out here shortly. So a great acceleration curve in my opinion, again, in comfort mode here, we still have very good pull. But I'm gonna try out the, the sport mode here and the paddle shifters as well. Yeah, pull's insane. And this is not even the, the twin turbo V6 option that you can get. But just if you get this thing revving right, my goodness, it pulls. And Hyundai and Genesis, I don't know what it is about their 2.5 turbos, but those are some of the quickest, I mean, quickest feeling engines that I've experienced. We're gonna try and accelerate here without the paddles. So to get it back in the drive, just hold that plus paddle down. And let's see what this thing's got. So the sport mode, it wants to rev hot. I was trying to let off because I didn't want it to, I didn't want the engine to rev that high, but let's see what we can do. We're gonna put it back into eco mode and then set the cruise here. So it just feels so luxurious being able to come down the road. The engine's revving at a little under 2000 RPMs, doing about 62, 63 miles per hour. Lane centering's on, my blind spot monitor's telling me, hey, it's something right next to you, right on the screen. Just feel like a million bucks in this thing, even though it's not anywhere near the competition in terms of the price point. And when I think of competition, I think of Mercedes GLS. I think of the BMW X7. Vehicles that can have third rows, but most people don't necessarily use them. And this is just a, a fantastic option in my opinion. It just, it drives well. It feels expensive. It feels nice. Just everything about it is great. And I like the eco mode in this because with that on, I can still accelerate relatively quickly. It just doesn't allow me to get full power like I can in the sport mode or even just a comfortable swiftness like I can in the comfort mode. So it just dials the engine back a little bit, but I mean, it's 300 horsepower, 311 pound feet of torque. You're not getting all of that when you put your foot you know, halfway down in eco mode, but you're still able to pass most cars relatively with ease. And for the money, I really think that the 2.5 T, and I think this one, what I say is an advance, I think this is a fantastic option. If you're wanting something that's luxurious, you don't necessarily want the 82 grand prestige signature so I hope I can review one of those here because those are so nice, especially with the matte paint. But this is still a fantastic option. It still looks great, still quick. And it just, it's still practical as well. So again, a good option in the luxury segment. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Genesis GV80.